St. Augustine's University has been facing a lot of challenges right now. Delayed payment to staff, a fight to keep accreditation, plus new leadership is responsible to see it all through. It's not just staff and college students caught in the middle either. There are more than 100 Wake County public school students who take classes there. They told WRL Education Insider Emily Walkenhorse they are not happy. Students at Wake County's Leadership Academies can go to St. Augustine's University and earn an associate's degree for free while still in high school. But many classes have moved online as the university works through a financial crisis. Some students say that isn't as effective as in-person instruction, and some are considering transferring. There's no solid option that's being presented to us. Now the school system is exploring whether to move students elsewhere, and the university expects them to leave. It'd be a tragedy that we lost them but that'd be partly our fault. I want to look for the day that I'm able to welcome them back. Wake schools can't just switch to another university without going through a lot of steps. That could push the transition to 2025. The university has been on probation and its accreditation status is in limbo. That means students might have to choose between taking unaccredited classes or going to another college where they might not have the same classes. There have been no contingency plans made whatsoever. And we have gone to the school and worked very diligently to be able to get these college credits. We signed up for this, we were promised this, and we worked for this. Students and parents say they want a partnership with another college as soon as possible. The school system is looking at sending students to Wake Tech next year. You can see how that would be frustrating for a lot of kids. Oh, yeah. uh, you can find more information in the education section of WRL.com. I know they still have a lot of questions that they're looking to get answered.